Good morning. Looking outside this morning, it's quiet. We don't really have a lot to show you here in Fargo. In fact, it's just kind of one of those mornings where we have cloud cover in place. However, just to the west, even just to the north, in places like uh, central Cass County, northwest Cass County, we're dealing with some rain and some thunder showers. Let's take a look at our radar right now. We've got some heavy rain and some thunderstorms that look pretty strong rolling into the James River Valley. And then this line again does extend northward from there. So Fargo Moorhead, we're kind of on the quiet side of things, but there's a little rain just north of us. And northwest Cass, back over into ba Barnes County, Valley City, some lightning and thunder happening there. In Jamestown, you've been getting a good thunderstorm here this morning. Now heading a little farther south, you could see some really intense red showing up on the radar and even some of these blue areas indicating that there might be some small hail within these storms. Those continue to push eastward right now over the Edgeley area. This is Highway 281 here uh, to help kind of give you a little orientation. Lemoore uh, seeing a little rain and thunder back down toward the Oaks area and this does stretch now into the Ransom and Sargent County areas as well. Might get some strong wind gusts up to about 50 miles per hour with these storms. They're not uh, severe, but certainly strong storms move, moving their way through the Southern Valley. Now, if you live in the northern half of the valley, it's a much quieter morning for you. Uh, similar to yesterday afternoon and evening, you ended up being a lot quieter than the places in the south that got hit pretty hard by some heavy rain and some large hail as well, up to golf ball size in parts of southern Ottertail County. Radar estimates from yesterday show some rainfall in that one, two inch range or more in those areas. And now we're adding to it more into the southwestern part of our viewing area here today. So here's a look at our temperatures. 69 right now in Fargo, 62 in Grand Forks. You can see there's a difference between the north and the south. In fact, Sisseton at 70 degrees this morning. Visibility okay. Of course, it's going to be lower underneath some of these rain and thunderstorms. And dew points are not as muggy. It still feels a little sticky out there when you step out the door, especially in these areas where you see some 60s still this morning. Otherwise, it's feeling not as oppressive here this morning. Uh, with wind, that's pretty light too, up to 10 miles or 12 miles per hour in Fargo. So looking at our hourly planner by 7 o'clock, we're still dealing with the rain and the thunderstorms in southeastern North Dakota. Those those continue moving eastward and they're not as intense, at least not according to our model here uh, as we move through the rest of the morning hours. However, the potential is there for some rain and thunder around your morning commute in the Southern Valley. That's also where we'll have more cloud cover as well. Temperatures by nine near 70 degrees into the noon hour. We're looking at some mid to upper 70s north. Not quite as warm in the south since we'll be under the clouds. Some low 70s there and still some rain and thunder showers departing. And by this afternoon, we'll get some more sun and uh, some heat coming in and that will help to warm us up back into the 70s to some 80s for today. Ahead for later into the afternoon and evening, it looks like a pretty nice night ahead of us tonight. Temperatures in the 70s to around 80 degrees and our nighttime plans look pretty good all night long. Now, through the overnight hours tonight, we might see a few more showers or thunder showers pop up along the international border. It's another day of unsettled weather again for tomorrow. 9 a.m., looking at some sunshine to start. Temperatures in the 60s to the low 70s. But then this next round of stormy weather rolls in for the afternoon. Uh, we'll see a chance for some showers and thunder showers. Again, not super impressive, but enough to be a bit of a, a nuisance, uh, even though we, of course, could use the rain. Uh, we'll continue to have that rain and thunder possible into the afternoon and evening hours before that does move on and we'll be on the quieter side ahead of us for tonight. So uh, for tomorrow night, rather. So a couple of unsettled days here. And of course, we've been seeing lots of these kind of pictures, the stormy clouds. This is in the Brooks area in Minnesota. Don shared this with us. And here's a look at your seven day planner. Next couple of days, temperatures into the 80s uh, with a little bit of thunder and rain out there. For, tomorrow, for Thursday, rather, we'll have some sunshine. That should be our driest day of the week. There might be a thunderstorm late Thursday night. And Friday and into Saturday, that's our next event. That looks a little more significant for us Friday evening and into Saturday with temperatures remaining in the 80s throughout the extended planner. Thank you, Lisa. Dancers in the area are gearing up for a big weekend. We'll get a preview coming up next right here on the Valley Today.